Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Catherine's Plates. I'm Catherine. Today, I'm going to show you how to make smothered beef tips in the crock pot. It's got delicious flavors of beef, tomato, and seasonings, and it's going to make a nice, delicious, smothered type of gravy. All right, if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start preparing our beef tips. I am taking a chuck tender roast here. It's about two pounds and I'm going to cut these into pieces to make our beef tips. Now if you find beef tips in your store already cut up and ready to go, that's totally fine if you want to use it. But I want to use a really good cut of roast here. So I'm just going to lay it on my cutting board. This is a slice about half inch to a quarter inch pieces like that here. And then I'm just going to take that and I'm just going to cut it into slices that kind of look like beef tips. I like this roast. Um, I picked this up at Walmart and it's a beef tender chuck roast. And yeah, look, there it is right there. Chuck tender roast. And it was only $12.40 for the two pounds here. I'm going to finish cutting these up and show you the final product here. And then we're going to start preparing these. So what we're going to do now is sear up our beef tips here with some delicious seasonings. And I'm going to put some, I'm going to coat this with some flour also. All right, what I'm doing now is taking my beef tips that I've cut up and I'm just going to put them into a large Ziploc bag. Well, we're going to start seasoning up the roast here. And here's my flavorings. I've got garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, pepper, and some salt. I'm going to start by adding a quarter cup of flour into my beef tips. I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. Paprika. Half a teaspoon. Probably a whole teaspoon. Some onion powder. A teaspoon. We got a lot of meat in there to coat, so make sure you flavor it well. And then one teaspoon of garlic powder. So I'm going to flatten this out, get all the air out. And then Coat it all really good. This is going to give it a nice flavor when we sear our meat. Okay, I'm going to place my burner onto a medium high heat. I'm going to place a large skillet or like a Dutch oven over your heat here. I'm going to add two tablespoons of cooking oil and I'm going to add one tablespoon of butter. Just kind of lock in some delicious flavor. Okay, we want to get this nice and hot and you'll know when it starts sizzling, that's when we're ready. I'm going to do my beef tips in two batches. Now when you lay in the beef tips, Make sure they're all in a single layer. I'm going to let this sit here for about two to three minutes and let it get a nice color on the bottom side here. And then I'm going to flip them all over. I'm going to do it again on that side for two to three minutes. And then I'm going to pull these out, place them into the bottom of a crock pot. And then I'm going to finish this batch right here. put batch one in. I'm going to finish up batch two. Okay, what I like to do 
when I pull the meat all out and deglaze this, I'm gonna go ahead and add another tablespoon of oil in there. I wanna sear my vegetables, so I'm gonna go ahead. I've got two celery stalks that I just chopped up. Three carrots. And I got one onion. Now what I want to do is just brown these just a little bit and then I'm going to add everything in there that we're going to need for our sauce and then we're going to put this all into the crock pot. So I'm going to go ahead and season with some pepper and some salt. Now the flour that we coated the beef chips with, they're going to add as a thickener for our smothered gravy. So we don't need to worry about any more thickener at this point right here. I'm going to add two tablespoons of tomato paste. Delicious flavor. I'm going to add one tablespoon of parsley. That looks good. be mimicking the flavors that we put into our beef tips. So a little bit more garlic powder, paprika, I'm just shaking it in, probably about a quarter of a teaspoon, and onion powder. I'm going to combine all this together and then I've got some beef broth here. I'm going to add three cups. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my burner. I'm going to pour this all over the beef tips. Okay, I'm going to stir this all together. Oh, doesn't that look good in there? Okay, now this is going to cook about half the time as you would for a regular roast since this is chopped up. So I'm going to cook this on low for about five to six hours or you can cook it on high for about three to four hours. Just make sure you check your meat make sure it's very, very tender. Okay, I will be back. Okay, it's ready. So tender and delicious. Look at those beef tips. Those carrots. Look at that gravy. I want y'all to focus on this gravy right here. Look at that. Smothered beef tips. Delicious gravy. Okay, now I made some homemade mashed potatoes and also made some green beans. I didn't actually make them though. I pulled those out of a can and heated them up. You got your fork? I do. Mm. Nothing like waiting for this one, you guys. So delicious, scrumptious. Oh my gosh. What are you eating your beef tips over? I have homemade red potato mashed potatoes. And I got some canned green beans over here. Now I know a lot of people are gonna to like to wanna to eat this with rice and that's totally fine. All right, make sure you give me a thumbs up on this one. Comment down below if you're new to the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification, that way you're notified when more of these recipes are posted. <laughs> I will see you on my next episode.